What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about weapon tuning in Modern Warfare 3 and some big news that Sledgehammer Games announced yesterday. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Weapon tuning was kind of a, a thing that I think a lot of players in Modern Warfare 2 did not really care for because it felt like it was something that was overly complicated and in my opinion not really needed a lot of times i felt like uh when you tuned a weapon you really could not tell much of a difference uh, than you could with just the base attachments on that were not tuned and yesterday sledgehammer announced that weapon tuning is not in modern warfare 3. sledgehammer games has removed it from the game and it will not be in the game for modern warfare 2 or modern warfare 3 weapons it says, based on community feedback, um, Sledgehammer Games has removed the weapon tuning in Modern Warfare 3 and made further improvements to the gunsmith. This uh, change to weapon tuning applies to both MW2 and MW3 weapons. That's something I think a lot of people in the community probably really wanted to see. You know, Sledgehammer took a lot of different surveys uh, about you know what people wanted to see in Call of Duty in general. And of course, you know, we have things like classic minimap, slide canceling, map voting. But this is another thing they asked about. And I feel like the majority of players were not big fans of weapon tuning. I know some people were, so some people may be disappointed to see this uh, kind of go. But also, I think for new players, uh, you start adding in people that have not played Call of Duty before or maybe have played other shooters that are not like Call of Duty. And when you put in attachments and, and you know, things already and then you start to add another layer on top of that with the weapon tuning uh, like i said it does get kind of get complicated but in my opinion i felt like kind of like i said at the beginning of the video is not really as helpful as it probably could have been or as they wanted it to seem to be there's a lot of different things you could do to these weapons uh between changing ads speed uh you know recoil stabilization that kind of thing and i felt like sometimes some weapons had a better benefit for weapon tuning than others. Sometimes it felt like you were gaining a little bit, and sometimes it felt like you were gaining nothing. And there was so much having to go into uh, weapon tuning when it came to being balanced throughout the year in MW2. I feel like this is probably a good move by Sledgehammer to just remove it because we're going to have all the weapons from MW3, you know, the new weapons that are going to be in the game. And then, of course, the weapons coming over from MW2, which Sledgehammer did say, are getting tuned to you know everything that needs to be done for them to work correctly in mw3 we got that news as well yesterday so we're going to have a lot of guns and i think to keep everything balanced i think weapon tuning being removed is probably a good idea because that's one less thing that you really have to worry about kind of balancing throughout the year or throughout the life cycle of the game anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about weapon tuning being removed from modern warfare 3 and of course i'll catch you all next time peace